Hello, you yeah, are welcome to another interesting topic. There are some issues most farmers normally face during the rainy season. Here are some best key ways you can manage your poultry during the rainy season. And in this particular topic, I target rainy season poultry management or broiler care during rainy season or preventing poultry mortality in wet weather. Or you can even call it poultry farming in the raining season. Managing broilers in wet condition or poultry disease prevention during the rainy season. If this is what you are looking for, I'm going to guide you on how to rear your poultry birds during the rainy season. Here I'm going to give you 12 management strategies to ensure free poultry rearing during the rainy season let's go there managing broilers and other poultry birds during the rainy seasons can be challenging due to the increased risk of diseases cold stress and weight conditions proper management practices are crucial to ensure the health and survival of your flock in this guide i will explore 12 effective strategies to manage broilers and other poultry birds during the rainy season to minimize high mortality rate which is associated to rainy season. This is the time the floor is always wet to accommodate a lot of microbials and a lot of microorganisms that can cause danger to your poultry birds. One, what are the strategies you need to do? One is please ensure proper housing. Provide well constructed leak proof housing to protect your birds from rain. Ensure that the roof is very good and in a very good condition and make sure that the walls are very high enough to prevent rainfall from entering into the coop. That rain that drops there will cause a lot of harm to the poultry bears. The next one is please maintain dry litters. Don't allow water to even spread. Don't allow them to waste the water on the floor. Regularly change the litter and keep it dry to prevent the growth of harmful pathogens. Wet litter can lead to respiratory issues and increase ammonia levels. Number three is ventilation control. This is very essential during the rainy season. Proper ventilation is essential to reduce humidity increase in the cube. However, avoid direct drafts on the beds which can cause cold stress and at the same time make sure you use a cotton or shutter to regulate a flow in the poultry house during the rainy season. Use of heating system is very important. During the rainy season, temperature can drop significantly because of too much rain. Install brooders or heaters or heating system to maintain a warm environment within the poultry pen, especially for younger birds. If you don't have a very good brooding heater, I can provide gas brooding heater for you. Drop it on the comment section. I will guide you on how to get the gas brooding heater that can help you to warm your poultry house during the rainy season. Number five, monitor feed and water quality. Ensure that the feed and water are kept clean and dry. Wet feed can spoil quickly leading to mold or growth of ammonia or other harmful bacteria that can cause danger to your poultry head. And at the same time, make sure you use very neat feeders and waterers to prevent contamination. Next one is number six, improve biosecurity measures. Strengthen biosecurity practices to prevent the spread of diseases, limit visitors to the farm, disinfect water, anything you are using within the environment to avoid contact with white beds number seven vaccination is and medication is very important make sure you vaccinate your poultry beds with all the vaccine that is necessary during their stage maybe their age also if you're using probiotic it is very important for you also to make sure you give it to them daily if at all you don't give them let it be three times or five times a per week this will help to boost their immune structure disease is very dangerous most especially viral infections like Newcastle disease, infectious Boussey disease, and rest of them. Consider adding vitamin supplement to boost their immunity or use probiotic, organic, or any liquid that is helpful. Or make sure you use of the extracts that I've given to you in some of my videos. Pest control is very important. Weight conditions often lead to increase in pests like flies, rodents, and parasites. Implement effective pest control measures, such as using insecticides or rodents to reduce the risk of diseases transmission within the 
pen. Something like rats and most of all these things you see has a lot of dangerous diseases they carry. They can transmit into their poultry house and at the same time to affect all your poultry best. Number nine, please regular check of health. Monitor their health regularly. Give them close monitor. Clo monitor your flock always for signs of illness such as lethargy, coding, clouding, wind drops, you know, most NASA discharge, eye discharge, and everything that has to do with the signs and symptoms of illness. Early detection and treatment of diseases can significantly reduce mortality rate and at the same time even prevent them from having that disease at all. Number 10 is adequate feeding practices. Please make sure you feed them at the appropriate time. Give them the best feed that has a lot of nutrients that is very good for them to give them healthy and at the same time to give, boost their immunity. Adjust feeding practices to ensure that bears are getting enough nutrition during the cold and wet conditions. Provide energy rich feed to help them maintain body heat because if they have enough fat, if they have enough protein in the, in the feed, it's going to boost them. When you use scrap to feed them, it's going to affect their health also. Please, water management is very important. Water drainage management is very necessary also. Ensure proper drainage around the poultry house to prevent water logging. Standing water can become breeding ground for mosquitoes and other pests as well as source of contamination. Remember that mosquito is one of the agents of pores in poetry, most especially for this um, our feathered friend called Turkey. Number 12 is stress reduction. Minimize stress. Everything that has to do with stress should be avoided during this period. Please, avoid stress, overcrowding, handling, poor handling of bears, during the rainy season is not necessary. Stress can weaken their immune system. And stress can at the same time make the bears more susceptible to diseases. So it is very important you reduce stress to the barest minimum. Next one, make sure you feed them with minerals, supplements like vitamins or organic probiotics is very important to boost their immune structure remember that most of these bears in the bush rain beats them but they hardly fall sick because of their strong immunity so the immunity structure of your poultry bears is very important if this video is very interesting to you please give it a thumb up like it share if you are new to this particular channel this is the right time for you to subscribe more of this kind of video is loading very soon and it's going to help you to run your poultry and livestock business profitably this particular channel we give you tips we give you education on how to make profit from your poultry how to keep your poultry best healthy and at the same time maximize your investment in this particular agri business don't skip any of our videos make sure you always watch them to the end because this is the only way you can get the best from us thank you for watching to the end share to reach more farmers and at the same time drop your comment if there's anything that you are lacking anything that you that interests you or that you want to address keep it on the comment section i will attend to them please till i come with another interesting topic before i go let me also remind you that managing brawlers and other poultry bears during the rainy season requires careful attention to housing, feeding, health, care, and environmental conditions. So implementing all these 12 strategies I've given you here, you can significantly reduce the risk of high mortality and at the same time ensure your bears remain healthy and mortality free. And at the same time ensure that your productivity throughout the rainy season is top notch. Proper preparation and consistent management are key to successful poultry farming and at the same time navigating this challenging period in poultry farming. Rain season is a very great challenging period for every poultry farmer. It is not an easy time to manage. Even if you manage the air that brings in the rain into the flock, you, the, most of the floor also generates its own water. So try and keep all this in control. 
clean the floor always and regularly to make sure that it is always dry. This is the only way you can avoid all these pathogens, all these harmful bacteria that can spread the disease and at the same time cause harm mortality for you. And remember that your poultry bears need the feed. Thank you for watching to this extent. Please don't go away. After this short break, let's go to the farm and see how we do it in the broiler farm during rainy season. Now, watch these broilers, watch how they are feeling, and watch that the outside of the poultry pen is heavily raining. You can see that it is completely waterlogged. Now, see the broilers, you can see that most of them are feeling cold because the floor itself is cold. So during this period, please make sure you have a very deep floor. Make sure you keep a very solid, you can now watch the sawdust, you can see that this sawdust is very thick. Please, let it be up to four to six inches depth. This is the only way you can prevent the cold from the floor. Because during the rainy season, the floor is always cold. And this always affects the agility of the poultry bears. Now watch, you can see, you can see. No matter what you do, the wet floor will always be there. But don't allow it to exceed the, or generate bacteria and parasites that can affect the poultry beds. Make sure you always clean it and make sure the floor is deep enough. If you are the kind of poultry farmer that always keep a shallow beddings, please, this is not the right time. The rainy season is not the right time to do that, please. Invest on the floor. If the sawdust is not enough for you, you can use wheat or fowl, you can use rice bran. Rice bran is difficult to accumulate weight floor. So it is always dry. Try and use rice bran if you have it within your locality or use wood shippings. Wood shippings can at the same time help you to prevent water logging floor during this period. This will avoid mortality. You can see our record here. We have few mortality. Less than 3% mortality. You can see the feed conversion ratio is lower during the rainy season because most of the bears always feed cold immediately after the rain. So once they are cold, they hardly eat. You can see most of them are lying. You can see them lying down. Not that they have well fed, but the way that always affects their agility it affects their feed convection ratio and it also affects their growth rate. They cannot grow fast. Also give them stress. There shall be close monitoring. Workers should be moving around during this period. From time to time, let them check each of the poultry each of the beds, the ones lying on the floor, monitor them. See the ventilation. There must be ventilation. All the whole net should be open during the daytime. This will enable fresh air to enter your poultry pan. And this fresh air does what? Evacuate all the ammonium that have been built up in the pan. This can at the same time help them to Avoid infections. This cross ventilation is very necessary. It is one of the major biosecurity measures you don't play with during the rainy season. The fresh air helps to keep the floor itself dried. See the windows, you can see the whole places are open. All the curtains, that's the, the leather curtains have been raised up. Are you seeing it? Now you can see that here we have less than. 3% mortality, you can see the feed conversion, you can see the quantity of feed they have consumed during the period, you can see the number of bears, you can see, so this recording is very important, make sure you keep accurate record 
of all the activities in the poultry pen during the rainy season. This will enable you to take appropriate decision against the next part of your production. Make sure they have water, neat water always, and make sure the floor is always clean. Any bird that is not moving or that is not working or that's not agile should be given close monitoring. All the windows, all the nets should be properly closed up during the night. Then in the daytime, open all the windows so that there will be fresh air. You can see all the places are open. This is the daytime. Make sure they have water to drink always. And let them not waste the water on the floor. It is very important. Once they are wasting the water, it's going to do what affects the floor itself. These are things you need to put in check. This will help you to avoid complete mortality and at the same time increase your profit. Remember that once you lose any bed, that money is gone. You can't recover it any longer. See the, you can see the beds, the, see the floor. See the floor is very dry because we have taken all the measures. You can see the floor is very dry. We are taking all the measures to protect and to prevent the floor being wet. You can see it. Even the air, the fresh air that enters into the pan, blows even the feathers on the floor. You can see how the birds are moving. Once the pan is not waterlogged, once the floor is not waterlogged, they will always feel neat. Many farmers are finding it difficult to keep their broilers white. This is because of these issues. Most, most of these tips I've given to you here. If you keep them, you can see the the color of these bears are very white, not dirty. But you will see most of the farmers, when they bring their bears out, in fact, you lose interest in the broiler production. See, the whole place is white. This is to show you that the floor is neat. But once the floor is waterlogged, the whole floor will cause dirty on their feathers. And this will affect the color entirely. And at the same time, even affect the marketability of your product. You can't just bring this kind of dirty broilers into the market and expect somebody to come and buy it. You see, so please put all this in check and let's continue from there. Don't go far. I'm just to be loading very soon. I wish you the best. Bye for now.